When figs are at their prime, I love nothing more than to make fig jam. It's an absolute delight to make and it's even better just to have it on standby if you want to add some fig jam to a cheese board or just have it on some delicious toast. Now these figs are plump and bursting with flavour and the first thing we need to do is just cut them in half. Now I don't want to cut them into small little pieces. I want this to be a slightly chunky style jam. So just cut them in half and we will break them up as they cook. And is there anything more delightful than looking inside a fig like that, that beautiful black blushing pink and it's slightly dry in the centre, just right. Now we'll pop these into a pot. So this is 500 grams of ripe figs. My ratio is 500 grams of fruit to 250 grams of caster sugar. So in that goes. And a splash of water when it comes to figs. I find that it just might catch slightly on the bottom because of the sugar content. So just a few tablespoons to get it going. So because I'm using this for cheese, I'm going to add a five spice. And this Chinese five spice is perfect to use. It has a combination of aniseed. It's got some fennel seed through it. It's just right. And you just need the smallest amount in this. Also the peel of lemon. So just one peel is plenty. Heat goes on. And now this needs to come to the boil. So just give that a bit of a jiggle so all of the fruit is coated in that sugar. Now the optimum temperature for jam is 105 degrees. But if you don't have a sugar thermometer, what do you do? Well, I'm gonna show you my trick. It'll all make sense once this starts to break down. Here's a little tip, just to make sure that none of the sugar crystallises around the sides or burns, just have yourself a brush with some water in it and just brush down the sides of the pot and that'll ensure that it stays that nice even colour and gently cooks. Okay, the jam is looking pretty good. You can see that the figs are still holding their shape. Now it's time to check that this is at setting point. So I'm going to get my plate out of the fridge. It's been chilling for quite a while. And the test is this. I'm just gonna get a spoonful. And this is an old school way of doing it, but I promise you it works. I'm gonna pop this back in the fridge for about one to two minutes. When it comes out, what we wanna see is it really wrinkly and gel-like. If that's the case, the jam is ready. fridge for a few minutes and you can see how shiny and gel like it is. This is a key indication that the jam is at setting point, 105 degrees. Another great way is just to put your finger through it and see how it starts to wrinkle up like that. That's also a perfect sign. This is a little trick my grandmother and my mother showed me how to do and it works every time. So you'd let your jam cool down and you can put it into a sterilised jar. So with your jars, all you need to do is pop them into an oven around 120 degrees for 20 minutes. Uh, that will sterilise them. Of course, wash them with hot soapy water before you do that too. I'm gonna serve it up straight away. So I've got some lovely cheese here, some walnuts, some lavash, and just keeping with that chunky, jam-like theme. I'm just going to leave them in their halves. We'll pop them into a bowl like that. It will cool down by the time I get it to the table. And that is how you make the perfect fig jam. So much nicer when you make it at home yourself, particularly when you can add different flavours like that five spice. It works a treat with the figs.